Hello everyone, this is Cameron C here, back with another um, video review for Baby Einstein. Alright, so this time we're going to be looking at World Animals. Um, released in July 24th, 2001. Just two months right after Neighborhood Animals got released. And honestly, world, in my opinion, World Animals is way better than Neighborhood Animals, in my opinion. It does have good music, and I do love the scenery of all the stock footage and public shows. It just seems really amazing. And honestly, like, some of the toys are just as better as the um, ones in Neighborhood Animals. It's just, honestly, Neighborhood Animals does have a good, some good um, quality toys, like Sidestepping Frog, Dottie Ladybug, and a lot more. But honestly, World Animals just has that good. Just has that much of a, just has that much of a good toys. But anyways, we're gonna be looking at DVDs, puppets, toys, and two new ones actually. Finally, after three videos, I finally got books coming up, and I also have flashcards from the um, Safari. Now, yes, I am also going to be doing this. Uh, this is also a mix of the Safari one, too. But, um, come on, it's, it's still World Animals, come on. Um, but anyways, let's get on with it. So first, we're going to look at the DVDs. So first up, we got World Animals 2003. Now, if you guys remember about that video I did a couple months back, you would have noticed that the disc is missing. I bet you all know what happened to it. Do you? Yeah, I destroyed it. It wasn't it wasn't working in the DVD player and um it had a giant crack in it in the disc, so I had to so I destroyed it. Literally, I did. But honestly, it was worth it. I I, I might get a new one soon. Like possibly maybe a new one soon. But yeah, this is um 2003. It had a digital board book on the DVD, but I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, next up we got World Animals 2007 DVD. Front, back, sides, on the side, all that stuff. Here's the parents guide with the disc. Honestly, I think it's possibly 2004 maybe. I, I It could be 2004, I'm not sure, but just the cover of it just could be 2007. And the back here, it literally does say it's, it was um, released in 2007 as well. Oh yeah, it also has that uh, Canadian sign right there. So this could be, I'm not really sure if it's Canadian, but you guys can let me know in the comment section below. Yeah. Alright, let's move on to the books. Or actually, just one book. So we got the Jane um, Safari Expedition. Now the reason why I have black paper... On here is because it has my last name on it and on the back too, so I had to cover it up. But yeah, here's the book, and here's the back of it. Basically, um, if you guys don't have this, and um, this is basically like one of those pop-up books. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention I will do a book collection real soon, along with the flashcards. Um, Along with the flashcard reviews too. So let me know if you guys want me to do that today, because I will. I'm I'm available to do it today if you guys want me to. So what you do here is just basically, it's just like in uh, Baby No, like the animals are like behind something, like a two cans behind the like a flower, all this stuff. So it's like a uh, Baby No, only it's in a book. But I don't think it's actually Baby No. But since it's mostly about Jane, I just I just thought it was like world animals so that's why I'm saying it's world animals and here's the tiger this is possibly my favorite one there's all the sea animals so we got octopus it's kinda crazy there dude we got the turtle we have the starfish And we also have the fish itself. Oh yeah, we even have a crab, uh, Captain Crab. Put another thing right there. 
Oh, the fish from Baby Mario. Right there. Oh, yeah, we also have another crab right there, too. Yeah. So, yeah, um, right now there's the forest. So, we got the fox. The bear. Oh, there's the bear. Owl. And there's the owl. And we got the squirrel. And there was also the rabbit. I believe that's the same rabbit from the Baby Shark Tears cover. DVD I actually don't even. I, all right. I always don't really focus on the DVD covers, on the DVD menu covers that often. But I believe that there was a cat in the DVD menu. I don't believe so. I could be wrong. I don't know. To be sure. But yeah. Um, next up, we have the desert. So, yeah, this got ripped. Um, move that out. So, we got coyotes. Birds, just random birds. Like, why couldn't you just put that, like, anywhere else? Like, you could have just put birds in the forest or, um, birds in the forest or even in, like, the, the, the rainforest or something like that. Like, come on. The jungle or whatever. You can put birds anywhere except for the ocean. Or the fox coming in here. Right? Um, we got snake. I mean, no, no, no. Not, not snake. Armadillo. Yeah, armadillo. Actually, I think that's the, the armadillo's first appearance, too. I never actually saw the armadillo in the comics. But they do have some more. Oh, look, it's the Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Because did you know that um, lizards can actually get pricked by walking on a cactus? Yeah, that was kind of cool. Yeah, of course it's not. We go to the Arctic. I think it's the yeah the same scenery in, as in Baby Mario. We got um, polar bear, seal. A new one, Puffin, and then Arctic Fox, another new one that we're going to be using today. I think I believe Polar Bear and Seal are using them today. No Penguin this time, guys. And then the last one is basically um, this, where we have Elephant, Lions, and Giraffes. Tropical bird. <laughs> um, all right, and then this page, we literally we also get um, like the babies of the animals. So we got pup. We got chick. Whoa, that's some pretty hot chick there, huh? Um, we got calf. Alouette. Hatchling, and then Cub. Yeah. So yeah, that was it for the book. Put it off to the side. Show you the flashcards next. <clears throat> and then puppets and then toys. So they literally have these out of the hall order. And some of these are not even from the um video as you can tell but I just put them in there anyways so we got lion these are like the field the feeling type cards like I'll show you all of them when I get when I go to the uh, when I show you guys my flashcards slash TV shop I'm, I'm gonna do like probably today later today yeah this is a lion on the back it just shows you like lion stuff Um, here is the, um, the one from the, um, Discovery Kit. Shows you all these stacks and all that stuff. We got fish. Morphex. Hey, it says here, fish can also be seen in Baby Hamster. That's the, that literally says, a lot, like, a lot of the flashcards usually say that. 
We got bears, facts, all that stuff. We got lion, the original um, stock footage image. Facts. Monkey. Now, the weird thing is, if you guys don't have this, guess who actually took the picture? Yeah. That's right. Aspen and Clark did take this picture. It's kind of weird. But hey, they did surprise me. We got Forrest. I forgot to mention the the back ones usually say like who took the picture and all that stuff. Um, so that's another one. Here's another one from the discovery cards. I believe I still have like a couple more, but then I think I lost them. Okay, here's Tiger. I definitely know that I lost some of the original um, cards from the original. Here's Tiger. Giraffe. Elephant. Oh. Another elephant. That's that seal thing. And on the back, it still says elephant facts. The giraffe. Another seal. Um, we got deer. Bear. Bear facts. Dolphin. I don't think that's what a dolphin feels like. It's literally rubber, but I don't think that's what a dolphin feels like. I think they're just putting in like gray stuff to make it smoother. But anyways, here's another flashcard from the original elephant on the back. We got giraffe. I believe it's from the original. I don't really remember, but I'm I'm gonna just guess this is from the original. Reef fish, fish, or not fish. You could have just said clownfish, you know? You don't have to say reef fish, you could have just said clownfish, because obviously it is clownfish. Alright, sea turtle. Tropical bird, or you could have just said parrot. Like they could have. Another dolphin card. Beautiful picture of the forest. Oh. I just looking at this again. We got bear. The last one, turtle. Another seal one. On the back, turtle facts. Alright. That's all. I didn't put the otter card in there, even though it did appear in the discovery kit. That was going to be for um, little handles, which I will show you all of them once um, I get all the flashcards and everything. So, I won't be showing the, um, won't be showing the uh, web two flashcards with them, but sorry. Um, but anyways, let's just move on to the puppets. So, this is the kids 2 Jane. I had this for quite a long time. One thing that I actually feel like it's weird is usually, um... Uh, I mean, it's usually Billy and Jack. 
but funny thing, I actually did have a dream last night about the uh, about me getting the free Disney game puppet because it was really good. It kind of more looks like the one from Baby Da Vinci, like seriously, like the pinkish mouth that has like the tannish nose, um, nose part. Like this could be Da Vinci, honestly, like Da Vinci in a nutshell. Well, honestly, I do love Da Vinci, um, and please respect my opinion on that. The only thing I don't really like about it is the head, um, shoulders and knees look really hard, and I think that makes it really kind of like doesn't really look that much more like Baby Da Vinci. The rest of it's all fine, honestly. And also that puppet show, um, the hand puppet show, you know, with the two monkeys, the monkeys don't really move, but everything else is fine. Uh, you can't even see your eyes because they're really really small. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got possibly a really rare puppet that I actually still remember. It literally still smells like I literally just got it. Oh my god! I like this one so much. It's so good. And this is the um original Rory used in the video. I actually had this for a very long time as well. There's literally no torns on this thing at all, surprisingly. No, none on the um, none on the mouth. The uh, the the mane is crinkly though, which I don't really care about. I still use it. Finally, let's move on to the doors. Now, I do, I did, I'm not gonna put uh, my G Giraffe or Mr. Monkey in here, just because they've already appeared in a BE video that came out before this one. That's why. That's literally one of the rules for re toy reviews for me, or video reviews, whatever it is. But still, I got four toys. Not really much, but it's what I got right now. Possibly just gonna get more in the future. So I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna throw them in the order I got them. So first up, we got Mr. Bubbles. Um, I think this was actually the oldest BE toy ever made. Because like people say this was made. I don't think this does not look like a toy that was made in the fifties. If anything, this looks. This look, literally looks like a toy that was made in the 70s, but based on the box, uh, maybe. Never judge a toy by its box, though. Never do that. Don't have any bubbles in it right now, but honestly, I remember what happened the last time it had bubbles in it, and they literally rot over it um, overnight, and the uh, the bubble thing literally got stuck inside, and I literally had I couldn't get it out, so I had to wash it down in water, and then it was uh, like all green. I had all that white stuff inside, and the bubbles were just stuck. And honestly, I think this is a really cool toy. Honestly, I do love Mr. Bubbles a lot. Don't get confused by the uh, the pink bubble thing, because that's also named Mr. Bubbles. I have no idea why, but it's just pretty weird why they actually. They're stealing the name here. Um, here's the back. Like, there's almost no red on the back. Um, there's also another kind that's called Buster Bubbles, um, which is literally the same thing, only it's in a different package, and I believe it's a little newer, like a newer version of it. But yeah, it, it's literally the same thing. Like, I believe there might be one on eBay. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, this is Mr. Bubbles. Next up, we got two of two of the most rarest toys I own. Well, one of the two of them out of like fifteen, I believe. Like I don't even know how many. Ex I don't know exactly how many rare toys I own exactly, but like I own so much. Like it's like it's. A, it's kind of hard to keep track when you have like a hundred and seventy eight or nine toys. It's crazy. But yeah. 
these are just two of my, two of them, and they're also the rarest windups I actually own right now. We got the sidestepping turtle from the 2004 version replacing Mr. Bubbles. So yeah, either way, you guys can uh, do my clips because uh, nobody else owns the turtle. I'm literally the only enthusiast to have this. Surprisingly, I actually got this in the lot along with this back in March of last year. Um, it came with like a lot of other windups, including some from uh, the Clapical Kids um, series, like that owl that appeared in my 600 sub special, um, the um, that windup bus that appeared in my Wii School remake before the Allegro for a Fruit Clock, um, and um, I still have it. Hang on. And this, which I never actually had in any of my remakes. Sorry, I had one more in here, but I don't know what. I think it's one of them. But yeah, here's the sidestepping frog, um, frog, not frog, turtle from Neighborhood an uh, Boil Animals. I may, I might make a new clip of this soon, though, just because I have that black background that I still haven't set up yet that I showed you guys in the um, the Lamaze or the Maze video. But yeah, that's the size of the It's kind of crazy. I actually have both of them. It's kind of weird. But... Alright, next up, we got the Glock and Spiel Monkey from also World Animals, but the, it's in both versions. I'm also the only enthusiast to have this. I know DG has it too, but... But I'm kind of the only enthusiast to have it on in this community. I don't know what's the problem is, but stopping. I don't know why it does that. It's only if I had more of these. Like, why can't they just make a box of 12 of these? Like, I understand they made one of the side seven frogs, which honestly. My, one of my favorite toys from any, well, one of my favorite windups from DE ever, and my favorite toy from Nurture Animals, but still. Yeah, it's probably old. I believe this was made by Tommy. Um, I really don't know what year, though, and I'm, I'm still guessing this was made by Tommy. Um, just, just to compare real quick, um, let me just try to get... Let me get the monkey from Baby Da Vinci real quick, just to show you that it could be made by Tommy. Alright, look at this. Look at the front here. See how they have like a little arrow right there? Now look at the monkey from Baby Da Vinci. It has that same arrow. Which, I'm guessing, they are made from the same company. I'm guessing, but Tommy was really lazy to put their company on the bottom. Maybe that's why they discontinued it. I'm not sure. They should have came out with new versions. Honestly, I I literally love this toy so much. I'm so glad I got it. But, but yeah, guys, that was all for. Oh wait, no. Ah, I forgot one. I forgot. We still need to um. We still need to um review that line who always keeps missing his uh his stop. Lena Lyon. Looks like uh, she almost missed her cut in the video too, hey? <laughs> she's always late for stuff. I almost forgot. Yeah, sorry about this, but still, this is Lena Lyon. I got this last year um, in a in a finger puppet lot. Um, I think I was in a call with Michael one time, and I was searching on eBay, and I actually found this in a lot. Like, you guys can find this, like, almost anywhere. Um, well, I don't think it's on eBay right now, but I have seen a couple on eBay, like, in the past, after when I got this. Um, I actually know that there was one that was in a, in a public lot that was actually sold for a bid for, like, 99 um, cents. Which is crazy. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm not sure really how rare this is, but I do know this was made in 1998. So this could have made an appearance in Baby Mozart with Baby Bop. Oh. 
though. It's it's one of my favorite Saints albums. It's one of the album guys. Don't need to get the train though. From Blue Ridge. Oh sure. I might get that soon. I actually need to get that soon. Big old bucks. But yeah, guys, that was all for the review, and I cannot believe it, but it has been exactly 25 minutes long. Holy shit. That's literally just as almost much as a BE video. Okay, honestly, guys, that is crazy. I don't think I have ever filmed a BE video for that long. Honestly, I think baby, when I do a Baby Bach one, it's going to be a little longer, but still. If you guys have been watching this entire time, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which tomorrow I will be putting out um, Favorite Places because, you know, it came out a day after World Enders. But still, until then, I'm Cameron C, and I'm signing out. See ya.